While many say this is long overdue, but now a decision has finally been made with the majority voting in favor of a public takeover of Cal Am water. Water's not for fighting. Water is for sharing. Years of water woes. Since 56% of Monterey voters voted for Measure J in 2018, coming down to this meeting on Tuesday night. The board looking at the evidence, findings, and hearing the opinions of the people in front of them, all to decide whether or not to pursue a public takeover of Cal Am water system by eminent domain. And that becomes a, a taking or in essence saying, we believe the property is a higher use in the public's hands than left in the private company's hands. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a big deal. Frustration and resentment from Monterey residents has grown over time towards Cal Am, arguing that what they call a poorly run private company is guilty of price gouging their customers. Monterey Peninsula residents are sick and tired of endless revenue rate increases. But Cal Am argues pursuing eminent domain would actually cost customers more money, saying that their system is very well run and is too complex for the MP water management to take over. A, we're not for sale, and B, that you know we're going to lay out the fact that, that the Monterey Peninsula Water Management does, doesn't have the ability or experience to really run California American water mm -hmm. at all. But during Tuesday's meeting, very few spoke in favor of Cal Am. Cal Am has the experience necessary to get the job done. The district does not. For more water to our region, I support a desal plant, and I support the expertise of Cal Am to build it and to operate it. While the majority calling for the board to give the voters what they voted for and get rid of Cal Am. Now is the time of transition for the ownership of our local water system. If not now, when? Cal Am, you're a lion. Bad neighbor. You should put your tail between your legs and scram. You have quite a collection of being a bad neighbor. Now, even though a decision has been made, there's still a long road ahead. This will go to court, which could take years. Reporting in Monterey, Ariana Hasso, KSBW, Action News 8 Sunrise.